Hello guys, how's it going? In this tutorial, uh, I'm gonna make the bottom two windows, uh, the door, and as you see, the door on the bottom is arched, and I think that'll be it. Um, let's begin. Okay, I think that's kind of too wide, but I can modify it. So I'm going to go into edit mode 3 and select this face. And scale it on the x-axis. That's way too big. I'm going to bring it back. Yeah, that looks okay. Um, let's select this top face and uh, let's just press X and delete. Uh, choose faces and delete it. I'm gonna do the same thing with the uh, back face. Select it from this side. X faces. And I just have this uh, shape. Press 2 to select edges. And I'm gonna select these three edges. Press EZ. Then bring it back a little bit. And SX to scale it on X axis. EZ again. drag it back yeah I'm looking at this front that's all I care the front should be kind of inclined uh, compared to this one so we make a dome in the end and uh, now SX to scale on X okay easy again And then SX. EZ. SX. And this is the last one, EZ. And SX. And on top I'm just going to press F to face it. And I think we have a base for our windows. Uh, let's press 3 on the keyboard and let's select these three faces and press Alt E and then click on extrude individual faces and then right click and then press S and scale right here just like that and now let's press E and let's bring them in just a little bit now right click and let's subdivide them Press 2 on the keyboard, to, and let's select these lines, and press Ctrl B, and let's make this as equal as possible, right there I think, and if you're in a line select, let's select the rest of the lines inside the window, well actually this has this selected, so Let's just uh, deselect everything with double A and press C and let's uh, circle select all of these. You can right click circle select and then press C again and right click and then press Control B and let's make them just about the same size as the frame. Okay, now press E to extrude them. Let's bring them out the same level as the frame. Okay, so I think we got it. Uh, now let's go on top here and select these lines. I'm going to press 1 on top and then hold control, press the 1 on the bottom. Shift 1 on top and control and the 1 on the bottom. And press control B. 
and bevel them. Now you see there are two triangles made on the bottom. Uh, press 3 on the keyboard, select this one to uh, hold shift and deselect it, I'm, I'm sorry. And the same with this one. Press E to extrude it. Just a little bit. That's it. And we have one window done. Uh, let's uh, let's mirror this window on the other side. So let's go back into object mode. And let's go into modifiers, add a modifier mirror. If I can find it right here. And let's select Y. And from this uh, eyedropper, click on it and just click on the house and that will then just apply it so we have the two windows I think they're too close to each other so I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna move this one right here maybe and maybe scale it just a little bit S okay and let's select the house again and apply it and yeah, that looks a lot better as you see you get quite a bit of space between the door and the window okay so let's make the door shift a and i'm gonna add a, a box Uh, that's way too thick. Let's go to edit mode 3 and select this edge shift space G and let's move this inside uh, Should be okay Yeah, the door is too wide. Let's go back into object mode with tab SX That yeah, should be enough uh, let's go back into edit mode and two and let's select this top two lines control B and as you see I spin my mouse wheel and add more uh, subdivisions okay um, let's see how we can do this uh, I'm gonna press 3 on the keyboard select this face and press I and inset Okay, and then I'm going to press E and extrude it inside. And then go into object mode with tab and let's drag it in. And I think we have our door. Now I forgot on the bottom, we're going to have to bring that down a little bit. So let's go back into edit mode three and select this face uh, let's just bring it down I think that looks okay unless you want something even more detailed then we can press E extrude it I'm gonna keep my mouse away so I have an easier time E okay and uh, let's select this front face you don't have to do this but uh, just for the sake of doing detailed stuff okay so uh, we can even bring it down a little bit just like that okay so we have the door let's uh, let's add a knob uh, we may, we'll just make a basic knob shift a I'm oh, sorry uh, let's go back into object mode shift a Let's add a cylinder right here. Hold shift while doing it so it makes a perfect circle. Left click, right click. And uh, let's go into edit mode with tab. Let's select this face. E to extrude it. S to scale it. E to extrude it. S to scale it again and then E again and then E again and then S 
and then E again. But just a little. And then S. And then I. And then drag it in. And I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. Okay. Um, let's bring the whole thing inside a little bit. Uh, in object mode, tab. And just bring it in. Okay, let's go back into edit mode. Yeah, that looks okay. Let's go back into object mode and let's add a knocker or some kind of visor. I can make up what that is. Okay, um, so let's uh, go into cube blocker and add a add a cube right here. Right click and uh, let's scale it on Y as Y. Let's go to edit mode with tab 2 to select faces. Let's uh, select edges, I'm sorry. Let's select these two edges and control B. Let's bevel them uh, just about there. Let's do the same thing on the bottom. Control B. But let's just put like maybe two of them right there. Okay, and now that we have this selected, let's select these two lines on each side and bevel again. And let's make them round. Okay. Now let's select, uh, let's go push three. This is the easier way. Select this face and then push 2 and now you'll have all the lines selected instead of going through all of them. And control B and bevel them. That's it. Now, this is how it looks like. Let's go and uh, add some kind of visor maybe. Uh, we can do this a bunch of different ways but the easiest way would be to go into uh, object mode and add a cylinder. Hold shift, bring it out a little bit, press 1 to go into uh, front view and bring it out somewhere in the middle. Uh, I'm going to scale it on Y again. And go into edit mode with tab, 3 to select faces, extrude it, scale it with S, inset. Let's extrude it inside and scale inside. And if you want to go into more detail, press 2, hold Alt and select this uh, circle. Press Control B and bevel. Uh, you go into object mode, this is what you'll have. Then you can put some uh, blue material here, make, make, them, make it seem like it's some kind of a uh, glass okay so that's what we got and we are done guys with this part uh, thank you very much for watching guys and being patient and I hope you learned something you know I'm just doing this to help people I'm not making anything subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next one guys take care bye bye